Hey everyone, welcome to uh, another Salient OS update video. This is the latest April iteration of Salient OS with a few changes. As you can see from the boot menu, we now have a couple of options here for selecting which driver to use to boot into the system. So obviously the open source drivers would be Nouveau and the Radeon and the other driver is the Intel i915 driver, so for HD graphics systems, Intel based. So this should make it a lot easier for more people to boot into the system without issue. Let's wait for this to boot into the desktop. Obviously this is running in a VM at present, just so that I can showcase some of the changes that have occurred, taken place. As you can see from the desktop, the only icon available now is install salient OS. Um, that's very easy to change if you would prefer to see desktop icons. You just come into desktop settings and you can click these here to add additional icons to the desktop. Or you can elect to turn them off altogether, which is my preferred way because it gives me access to this menu rather than it being attached to the bottom of this menu. But that's a personal choice. So if I went this way, you can still get to the installer through the system menu, install Salient OS. But for now, I'll leave it there. So under the hood, uh, there's been a few changes. Uh, Feral Interactive's game mode has been updated. Obviously, things like Lutris and Steam have been updated to the latest versions. Uh, the GIMP has been updated to the 2.10.10 iteration now, and as has Blender. That is now on the 12th of the 4th recompile. So that's a brand new compilation of Blender 2.8. Um, the text editor that was included previously was Zed, which was the Mint uh, developer's text editing system which was very nice I liked it but I found another one now which I think is better suited to well anyone needs if you want text editing with syntax highlighting available out of the box um, notepad QQ is very capable and it has a ton of syntax highlighting for lots and lots of different languages built in out of the box which is very nice and I think it just goes a little bit further than Zed did in that regard. So if you're editing bash scripts, you can choose a bash profile and you'll have nice syntax highlighting in your, the text as you work with it. So that's included now. You can see there's an update already, even though these were built this morning. Let's have a quick look at that. All oh, right, it's a Perl, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna change that because that menu, I find a little bit frustrating. There we go, that's easier. So that's been included. Redshift has been fixed now. The GOIP side of Redshift now works properly. It does take a moment to initialize because that obviously has to go off online. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah, under multimedia. Let's just see if this has done its thing yet. Nope, still not done it yet. We'll just wait for that to sort itself out. Right, you'll notice here now in this menu, patch age and patch matrix have been removed in favor of cadence. Cadence, Katia and Katarina are a trio of packages which assist in starting the Jack server. And as you can see on Salient OS, real time scheduling is enabled out of the box um, obviously the block latency here is going to be very high as this is in a, a VM, but you can see the v the DSP load is very low, which is very nice. So you, obviously you would have to come in and configure this specifically for your own hardware um, because each hardware is very different. And there's no way that I can uh, cater for everybody's hardware requirements in this. So. Cadence is a very capable tool. It comes with several tools. 
with a patch bay, which is the reason why patch matrix and patch H were removed. Katia is a patch bay system for linking audio through apps. So you can link apps to apps, etc., in your audio workflow. Uh, there is another one as well, which is more focused on session management, virtual XY controller with MIDI keyboard, all these wonderful things built in and you can do configurations in here as well for your LV2, VSTs, DSSI and Ladspar plugins and Wine ACO if you wanted to play with ACO. So that's included now out of the box and is a much easier way of initiating jack sessions when you're using audio um, audio specific applications such as LMMS for example which is included on Salient OS let's just check Redshift that should be sorted now yeah there we go it's now sorted itself out so that's working nicely obviously that's the kind of no effect in a VM but just to let you know that that's been fixed Yeah, so Blender, GIMP, they've all been updated. In fact, every every application has been updated if there has been an update. So this is now all the latest versions of everything installed. It's running very nice. And that's pretty much it. Those are the only major changes is the inclusion of Cadence and its associated tools in favor of over patch matrix and patch age. Q jack control is still included, but you don't need to utilize it that way. You can do it through Cadence now. So there we have it. That is the latest iteration of Salient OS. The ISOs will be available on SourceForge very soon, as I said, and available for download at your leisure. And don't forget, if you have any issues or problems with Salient installing it or whatever, please utilize the ticket system or the discussion system on SourceForge or leave comments under the video and I will, as you know, will try to answer any, each and every one as I can and address any issues that may arise. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.